Start recording, start streaming, start doing things, start doing all the other things. Oh my gosh, look at this. Here we are once again. Another glorious day as we uh, make our way one day at a time through the strangeness that we are all enduring right now. Yep, it's me. It's Matthew, also known as Tobias, also known as Tobias the Adequate, also known as Stop Thief, also known as Get On With It, also known as Why Is He Wasting So Much Time? Why am I wasting so much time? Mostly because I'm allowed to. Also the fact that I needed to change a couple of things before I changed over to this. Hi, it's me. See, I'm here. All right, push buttons. And I did all of that before pushing the button to go live. So there's a massive, massive chunk of Doppler shift, but uh, hopefully y'all will all tolerate that. So you know, we're on the, it's kind of like the old school radio programs where you talk about respecting the five second delay, which is what they used to do back in the day when they did a lot of live broadcasting, is that they would delay the feed from the truck to the broadcast tower for a certain amount of time so that way if something was said or done that was not cool they could edit it out uh i think they actually had um they can hear oh goodness richard pryor was actually richard pryor and george carlin were both on 30 second delays when they hosted saturday night live so that's a little bit of random trivia for y'all Hi, once again, it's still me, so let's get this show underway, shall we, as I uh, ramp up here and try to put everything together where I need to put it together. I am, once again, operating off of two different monitors and a camera on a little bitty wobbly tripod. You'll notice it wobbles just a tad here if I shake it, or at least appears to. I can't watch the camera and watch the screen over here, over here. I'm pointing at the screen now from the camera. Anyway, hi. Let's do a song, shall we? <clears throat> Let's do a song. We should do a song. This show is about songs, isn't it? I think it's about songs. We'll start with a little something. A little something heartfelt. I bought some pants today To see if I still could The form filled out okay My credit card was good The pants came in the post I hope that they will fit They were on sale the most I'd saved up quite a bit And you can get some too my sweetest friend The internet has made it far too quick for us to spend And I can do this too For you in just one glance Yes, I can do this too Yes, I will buy you pants. Well, I think that's probably set an incredibly weird tone for the rest of the show. I personally enjoy it myself, but eh, hey, why not? All right, gang. Pants, pants, pants. Yes, um, pants are still a thing. Uh, Texas is opening back up, and so a lot of people are having to go out into the world carefully. Go carefully, tread lightly, be safe. And trousers are beginning to be a thing again. Um, when I did the first two weeks of this whole working from home thing, I wore gym shorts and t-shirts. And about three weeks into it, I started to, to dress like I was going to go into the office again. And thankfully enough, the office allows me to wear jeans so long as they don't look all raggedy. Because I'm an IT guy and it's expected of me. So uh, 
I was able to do that. But yeah, I, I saw that I, when I heard Hurt, and after a little while, I was actually, you know, I bought some pants, I bought some pants today. It's like, yep, got to write a song now. Pants. Sing the praises of pants. Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference. I like it. Let's go from pants to platypi. This is almost an entire show starting with letter P. But not really. So. The biggest challenge here with possums in a trench coat is, of course, to stay on rhythm and not go stupidly fast or stupidly slow. And also to make sure I don't have the microphone on mute. It doesn't look like I'm on mute. And if I look over here... Because that would be really hilarious if I got all the way through this show and then suddenly realized, oh, I muted it. Because I actually recorded some stuff earlier today, which I'll tell you about after this song. And I had all kinds of fun with that. <clears throat> By the way, uh, this does go out to the birds. Uh, Tina and Denica, who had their, their own possum encounter. Apparently behind a dishwasher. that song it uh, it brings me great glee and joy to be able to do that um possums speaking of the possums yes uh, the birds did in fact have a possum related experience which appears that there was a possum that they found and they decided they needed to trap the possum but the possum was not being terribly aggro so what they did is they actually set out a little cat pet carrier with some purina possum chow and the possum just kind of wandered in it's like okay take me away bob which is kind of neat I mean, it's a possum who knows not to bite their, their host human. Which is good. The thing I was going to tell you about. I actually didn't remember it. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes this idea just kind of go right out of my head. I am part of Sofa Shakespeare. The Sofa Shakespeare Project. They've done two or three... Shakespeare plays, which they diced up into one-minute segments or so, and just gave them out. And people are performing them on mostly their sofa, but there's also been sock puppets, stuffed animals, all kinds of things. And um, I am actually part of Macbeth. I have Act 1, Scene 3, which has four people in it. So I do four characters and my three Scottish accents. Uh, what does that entail? I would like to show you just what happens when I am completely and utterly left to my own devices with no budget. Due to the fact that I have no costume budget, these are the costumes. This is my Macbeth costume. This is Angus, who is a Thane. This is Ross, who is another Thane. And 
This is Banquo. Who buys it somewhere in the middle of Act 2? Or Act 1? I don't remember. It's been a little while. But yes. Brown paper bags. For when you care enough to not do a whole lot of effort. <laughs> oh. The thing about this is that I recorded... I literally recorded uh, three different versions of what I'm sending to Sofa Shakespeare, which will be bolted together and, and be made to look wonderful. And now the paper bags are on the floor, so of course the cat must investigate. So there will be crinkly noises shortly. And um, the first time I did it, I did it with a selfie stick. And I had no stability to speak of, and I couldn't remember the lines. And I didn't have things set up so I could read the lines off of the screen, so well, the heck with that. Uh, the second time I actually set it up so I would be sitting in this chair and just turning back and forth and putting paper bags on my head. And when I did it, I forgot that OBS records has recording volumes for everything, including the volume on the camera to record and the volume on the microphone to record. So I was getting a very fascinating Doppler shift effect where I was basically hearing my own lines twice. So that sucked. So the third time was the charm. I did it all, put it all together, and used um, another open source program for um, video editing. What did I use? I used one open shot video editor. Yay, open source software. And uh, put it together and sent it out there. And after I, I got the uh, person uh, the right permissions to get onto my Google Drive, because I'm a big nerd, but I don't always remember these things. So eventually you will see me portraying Macbeth. Using my Sean Connery voice. That's fortunately, Macbeth only has one line in the entire scene. So we don't see a lot of it. Ah, brown paper bags. Is there anything else I can't do? Alright, what am I doing this next song? This next song is... Yes! One of my faves. Oh, check behind me for the cat. Our, I... My cat, Delilah, who I think I have shown you all, has uh, taken up a, a somewhat disturbing hobby. She will put herself down here on the floor and nudge up against my chair, which is on wheels, which concerns me because I don't want to accidentally back over the cat. That's just... that's bad. It's bad juju, man. So let me see here. Uh... I almost know all the words of Platus but postpone Miss Men, which is good because I wrote it. <laughs> know it? I wrote it. So Platypus Postmen is of course partially the fault of K Striker. Who is currently going <laughs> On the other side of the internet, so I can see you from here, or at least I can hear you going squee. It's true. And I have definitely been, I've been told that this is definitely has kind of a, a Jerry Garcia vibe to it. This is the younger, um, less chemically altered Jerry Garcia.
It's such a goofy song. I love it. It's a goofy little song. I started this and was trying to do both acoustic stuff and then amplified stuff and electric stuff. Because I have cigar box guitars, I like cigar box guitars, and I like kind of that business. But it appears that most of the songs that I am writing are, in fact, hippy dippy weird little acoustic songs, which is okay. I'm kind of a hippy dippy weird, uh, you know, acoustic song kind of guy. Um, they're all really nice and kind of innocuous and kind of just fun, and I like that. I do have some angry, edgy political stuff. You've heard it if you've been here for the show. Um, you've heard a uh, hot take from my truck, and somebody is wrong on the internet. I may have another one in the pipes there somewhere, but most of my songs are just kind of goofy little songs, like about dating werewolves and platypus postmen, and um, you know, people I know from Fair and business groups, which will be a four to five track doo-wop song, and then I have to figure out how to do it live, because I won't be able to do it live with just me i'm not gonna multi-try i'm not that not that smart but that's okay and Kay has every right to be proud of that song yes you do k now since pants was shorter than average this show may go shorter than usual it's been running about 20 25 30 minutes which is a good, I think that's a good run. It's a, it's about the same amount of time I would spend doing a Renaissance Fair performance, which is nice. Um, that's the neck of my guitar, my ukulele over here. It's got sweeping in and out of the scene here. It's not being held up by anybody. I don't have a small man in a windbreaker like they did in the Highlander shows. If you ever wonder, if you ever watch the Highlander TV series, and now that it's, you know, cable has everything, you can probably watch Highlander on Netflix or something. Uh, you ever wonder where those guys all get their swords from? It's little Frenchmen and windbreakers. There, there's some photographs. There's photography evidence of that. But I digress. I always digress. It's kind of my thing. I like digressing. My friend, uh, my friend and professor and mentor, um, Douglas S. Parker, used to say that on his gravestone, he will have he would have the words. But I digress. I have not checked. He may very well. It's hard to say. All right, let's get on to the next song. And of course, the next song is the big one. I'm really enjoying this. I'm getting better at doing the chords without having to stare at it quite so much. But you will still see me glancing off to the side when I'm suddenly faced with an existential crisis as to whether or not I remember the chords. Also, that really stupid chord that I kept trying to do stupidly because I was... There's a part when you're ashore in Baltimore and you fancy a bite to eat. I never sang to eat because I'm a tenor, so you have to go up and fancy a bite to eat, you know. So that's why you get this... You fancy a bite to... This, this chord is dumb heat. No. To eat. You just do that. Things I learned. Things I'm learning. Eventually, I'm going to have to get permission from them to do this in shows, I think. And that's all right. Eat Bertha's Muscle. They're the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room. You can eat them in the bar. So when you're ashore in Baltimore and you fancy a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's. You'll be in for a rare old treat. Well, a sailor came to Bertha's. The problem most severe. His manly pride had been atrophied by a voyage of 14 years. Well, he ate a plate of mussels. Now he sings in a different key. His jibum said, right, he'll be back there tonight. And he's not going back to sea. So oh, eat. Bertha's mussels, they're the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room, you can eat them in the bar. So when you're ashore in Baltimore and you fancy a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's, you'll be in for a rare old treat. Well, a lady came to Bertha's who wanted a daughter or son. 
The doctors had said with a shake of their heads that she couldn't have either one. Well, she ate a plate of mussels and went home to her husband, dear. She tuned up his cruth and to tell you the truth, they had triplets the very next year. What's a cruth? So, eat Bertha's muscles. I don't know what the cruth is. They're the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room. You can eat them in the bar. So when you're ashore in Baltimore and you fancy a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's and you'll be in for a rare old treat. Well, they'll cure your diarrhea, thank God, for your constipation too. Yes, both. Just swallow a box for the chicken pox, for the measles, or the flu. So if you fancy a healthy life, get your daily dosage straight. I'll plate it in above those muscles, and you'll live till you're 98. So oh, eat Bertha's muscles, they're the best there is by far. You can eat them in the dining room, you can eat them in the bar, in the bar! So when you're ashore in Baltimore, and they fancy a bite to eat, just follow your nose to Bertha's, you'll be in for a rare old I don't know about you folks, but I feel better. I feel better. I think this was a pretty good show, all told. There were no horrific boating accidents, which I'm very happy about. This is not something that happens all the time. I, I have a tendency to worry that I'm stumbling over the words and the lines and mucking it up and ruining everyone's festive uh, afternoon entertainment. But I think we did okay there. I think I did okay. I'm pretty sure y'all did fantastic. So let's uh, let's run it down, shall we? Let's talk about this course tip jars. Uh, three people have been crazy enough to send me money so far, just tipping me outright, and I thank them. I thank you very much, Robert and Rick and Emily, you magnificent lunatics. You can send me money if you want to. You don't have to. This is completely not required, okay? This is me basically getting my performance thing out and also having kind of a lovely kind of semi-live heckled rehearsal process, which I kind of enjoy. Uh, SoundCloud is where I got some recorded stuff. We can check out uh, Ham, uh, Possums in a Trench Coats there, uh, an overwhelming surplus of Diggity, and uh, Reaver Johnny Reaver, the four-part harmony in which I sing all four parts and get incredibly upset at one of my parts. All the other, it's just, I don't even understand it myself. I, I do these things. You can find these archive shows at facebook.com slash theadequate, which is the official Tobias the Adequate page. And I'm kind of playing with whether or not I want to move the show itself to happen on that page rather than do the show on my personal page and then hop it over to that page. I don't know. Life is hard and confusing as enough as it is. We'll see where we go from that. Uh, Carpe Diem Comics is, of course, the official emotional support com comic shop of the Adequate Podcast, of Tobias the Adequate, the Troubadour Show, and everything else I can think of. Why? Because I like these people. They're good people. Be nice to them. Check them out at carpediumcomicsonline.square.site. They are currently operating at limited capacity, but they still do curbside, so please do check them out. And if you are, uh, if you have a local comic shop or a local gaming shop or a local craft shop and they're open, support them. Do what you can. Support them. They don't have a big corporation behind them. Um, if all else fails, get a gift certificate, which is a gift to your future self. Hello, future self. Have a gift certificate. Why, thank you, past self. Well, you weren't as much of a jerk as I thought you were. I have no idea where that came from. That's okay. Uh, Patreon.com allows you to support adequacy in our lifetime, and I currently have four mighty Patreon patrons. That's John and Brian and Lorene and Alicia, and uh, we just had my Patreon collection day, which was kind of entertaining as heck. I got a little money, and that money is going to go toward more stuff to do things like this. Um, eventually, like actual video stuff so I can do live video without having to do quite as much clicking around and running and you don't get to see the cursor wandering around the screen like that, which is very weird and kind of distracting, I'm sure. Patreon.com slash The Adequate. It's right over here. There it is. And uh, you can also check out the YouTube channel, which is where I also stockpile all my Tobias The Adequate Troubadour shows on the Troubadour playlist and anything else that seems like a good idea at the time. So I think that's just about everything. I, uh, 
I enjoyed this show. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I was a little worried about it, but it is Tuesday now. i got two more shows this week, and I will do both of them, and then I will take Friday off again. We're beginning to wander back towards something that we're calling normal, but not really normal, and I think it's... Uh, proceed with caution, gang. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Uh, if you do go out, put on a mask, not just for yourself, but for others, because, you know, there's no sense in you getting your schmutz on them, and they shouldn't get their schmutz on you, and... There's a lot of really kind of aggro things I can talk to talk to as far as people that don't do masks and stuff like that and they complain about their freedom. But that's for Facebook and not for this show. So be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. I hope you all have had a good time. I had a good time. I am going to do a thing here and I'll just click a couple more things. We will go back to the card right there. And then I will simply fade, gently fade. You see, there's, there's that cursor. I really got to deal with that. Let's do something about that. Die. Yes, I do. One of these days, I do. And we will just kind of, we'll just kind of leave it there, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave it there for now. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Y'all be good. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll talk to you next time.